Welcome back to the Virtual Railroader Academy. As always, I'm your host, Professor Casey. And I'm Professor Nick, and welcome to another edition of Railroaders Play Railroader. We are in Bryson. <laughs> we are. We're in Bryson. Uh, we're the we're the Bryson Yard job today. We've got we've got a very busy uh, Class One railroad going on um, with a lot of work to do. But before we get into that, um, SR71 Blackbird, thank you for the uh, ten gifted subs. Much appreciated, my man. Um, but we've got a lot of work. Um, are you? You're here. Yes, you have rolls. Good. Um, so we're in Bryson. We've got a couple of trains to get out early on. Uh, we've got a um, Bryson transfer heading up to Dillsboro. And down here, uh, we have got a uh, extra freight heading to Andrews Interchange uh, that we got to get some power onto. Um, because this guy's running on AI here, uh, and that guy over there has a human running it. Uh, I believe that's Squiggy's train, so we'll be talking to Squiggy soon as he starts navigating the yard. But I figured we can uh, we can get a little bit of hustling done and out of the way of prepping. Oh, look at this. Here we go. We got 92 coming out. This is um, BR1 getting ready. So uh, we'll uh, we'll hustle the power for the Andrews transfer, and uh, then and then talk to dispatch. This is correct train. Okay, so it needs it needs water. It needs coal. Uh, so would you like to run, and I'll get the turntable lined up. Sure. All right, we're gonna have to do a little bit of zigzagging here. It looks like. To hey. get across the yard. Hello. Uh, is Dillsboro just going to be no man's land tonight? I guess so. It, whoever's there, I guess, is the current yard master. Cool. All right. Uh, and just so it's on your radar, the CCR2 is about to get into Ella. All right, so. cool. Um, just give me a heads up when they get through Governor's Island, and we'll get them uh, I'm going to have it hold at Gov Island until... Awesome. Thing. Okay. Whoa. And uh, you're all lined up there at uh, 731? 731, so you can bring them back. Yeah. Got you lined right across the table. Bring it back now. SR71 with another 10 gifted subs. Oh my god, thank you so much. Yes, most appreciated. So, it is very fitting that we are uh, working the yard today. Because today is Valentine's Day, and I love the yard job. <laughs> the yard job is my valentine. Don't tell my partner that. Ah. I, my valentine is quite for the day as well. Uh, those who are uh, followers of the Roundhouse Podcast on Facebook will have seen my short video today on that subject. Oh yeah, no, that I did not get to see that yet. Uh, I guess we should probably hold shy. Of uh, the switch here? Let 92 do its move? Yes, we can do that. So, as always, we encourage you to join in the conversation here on the chat. We will be responding to your questions, comments, observations uh, as you type them. Hmm. And in the meantime, I have the very important duty of doing the whistle testing. Are you are I you picking a, are you picking out a whistle you'd like? Well, I mean, I'm not going to be working this for terribly long. Um, more important that our, our switcher to be uh, has. I uh I, I picked out a good one for a switcher. I put the uh I put the NNW hood on it. Oh, that, yep, that, that, that felt that appropriate. I, that I already approve of your decision. Um, I think this will be suitable for the brief time in which we are putting it together. Yes. But, yeah, so we're, uh, we, we have power to hustle, and, uh, it's, a uh, hustling's a fun job on the railroad. I really enjoy it. Um, you kind of get very intimate with the engine in a, in a weird way. Um, when you're oiling around and greasing, and I think it's great for someone learning and beginning. You know, you're, you're in there, you're oiling the rods, you're greasing the rods, you're getting your shoes and wedges, your small oiling points, 
you're doing your hammer testing and learning what stuff should sound like and what stuff should look like and what normal looks like and what normal doesn't look like. Which is the more, it, it's more important to know what normal doesn't look like and what normal doesn't sound like than what normal does look like. As weird as that, as weird as that seems. Um, so we're, that's, you know, that's, that's the whole thing with hustling. And you, you can be very up close to everything. Um, okay. Yes. You um, develop a, really yeah, you, you develop a relationship with the engine. And you can really connect with it. And I think it's great as a learner to have that because you can really inspect and you understand how the dis different systems work and like, oh, the that pulls down on that on the spring engine, which pulls that up, which ties into that dead block on the frame. And that's, I don't know, I think that's, that's a really interesting way of going about it and looking at it. Um, and it really helped me a lot learning out. I still enjoy hustling to this day. Plus, it's nice to come in. You work for... Oh, four hours, you get the engine ready, you hand it off to someone else, and you're like, not my problem. And then you get to go home. That's also a very nice thing. Um, it's also nice from the crew perspective to walk into a hostled engine. Speaking of hostling engines... Uh, oh, hello. Bryson Yard... Uh, bottoms. Sorry. <laughs> um, this is 123 requesting permission to uh, disconnect from my cars over here on the Y and move over to get uh, fuel and or water. Yeah, you can zigzag on over. Um, we got to get some fuel first. All right. Uh, why don't you bring her back, Nick? We'll get, head over and get our fuel and then let everyone else take care of themselves. Can do. Uh, does it matter which way I zigzag or just dealer's choice? Dealer's choice. So, uh, uh, yeah, just, no. Oh, hello. Uh, Bryson Yardmaster, this is uh, extra 630 East. I'm looking to, whenever whenever convenient, looking uh, to head out of the roundhouse to fuel up and head to my train. Uh, yeah, we're going to be pulling ahead here to get coal and water first uh, for okay. one of these engines. Uh, dispatcher to the to the uh, Bryson Yard God. Uh, Bryson Yard God. Uh, permission to fuck up your day and throw a CCR two at the uh, at the yard. Yes, send them in. Okay, cool. All right, Nick, uh, you're on ahead. So he's got to go that way. I think I've got my iron line the right way. Uh, he, he's currently up in Gov Island, about to knock down the. Uh, west end of the siding, so Copy not that. too far out. Okay. All right. Nick, uh, uh... Just, just so you're also aware, extra ninety is uh, leaving Dealsboro and then Deal Two is shortly behind it. So I'm gonna go back up here now. Bye. All right. Have fun. All right. Uh, keep rolling ahead. We'll get water on this uh, first engine. Looks like the second engine was uh, left topped off for us. Okay. Can do. While the two of you are filling up, I will zip on over to the other side of the coal loader to get out of your way. Alrighty. And far enough. Oop, overshot. Uh, nice. Bring it back five feet. And, uh, I would take water right there at that little water column, and, but I don't uh, want to stress uh, John out too early. <laughs> uh, another two feet. <laughs> and here we'll I get find. it. Yes. Far enough. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to overshot it again. You, right uh, yeah, we, we we went five feet too far the other way, and far enough. Okay, oh, come that on. time we got. Come, no, we didn't. It's <laughs> off by a foot. Uh, and stop. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Right. So, so well, that's, we're, uh, I'm gonna go get a switch while you start asking whatever question you're about to ask. Well, I wasn't going to ask a question. I was going to respond to a question from North oh. Westerner. Uh, question, is it wise to blue flag an engine during an inspection like this? Uh, yeah, you'd it, shop crew, you'd 100% be blue flagged um, before you did anything um, in the engine facility on your yard track. Um, it's just a, It's just the right courtesy. 
for uh, for that kind of stuff. To uh, it's not even courtesy. It's it's the safety thing. You got to let everyone know you're working. So and, uh, yeah. And uh, hi to uh, more trains, please. Uh, Corey Gibson, uh, uh, Ebon Lu, uh, Ajax. Uh, lovely subtle use of the fill command. Uh, I, I don't know what anyone is talking about. And uh, Amtrak 31 in the many times I've ever checked it this route. I'm with you on that. Uh, yeah, right there with you. So, but. Um, I was going to say, with regards to hustling power, uh, on Great Train la Layouts Live last week, um, I built engine terminals because in the real world, I am going to be building one. I, and I was trying both a sort of city large engine terminal massive coaling tower approach as well as more of a uh, mainline branch line junction point smaller engine terminal design but both with a focus on bringing power on and off trains mm. because that's the room i have on my shelf outside of greenfield village all right let's roll back and get coal How far back? Uh, an engine length. An engine length, okay. Uh, about a tender. I misinterpreted that, uh. Keep her coming. Nice and easy like this. Okie doke. Oh, this is, this is going to work out beautiful. This is a very nice move, Nick. Nice and gentle. I like it. And I can do that. far enough. Uh, who's all in game this session? Asks Corey Gibson. Quite a few people. We have a uh, yeah, we've, we've got a good handful of characters from both the VRA and the Bone Zone hanging out tonight. Hello, it is me. Speaking of one of those cast of characters... Uh, we'll, uh, we should be out of your way shortly. I think Squiggy, Squiggy's gotta get out of here to get out of the yard. So you want to let him get, uh, fuel work, fuel first, and then, uh, and then you can, uh, you can go. Works for me. Or use the turntable to run around him while he's getting fuel. He thinks that's what I'll do. Yep, understood. I'll spot myself in front of y'all until you pull out, pull in the clear. Yep. Oh, and in the distance, I see the CCR2 coming in. This is a cool shot. I love it when this game has a vibe like this. Mm-hmm. Especially with sunrise and sunset. There's just something about It's so that cool. I hate. It just makes it wonderfully atmospheric. It does. Oh, that's, that's cool. Okay. Um... So, yeah, hustling. Um, it, it's, you know, at this point, we're like, we're done getting coal, water, we're done servicing, we've oiled around, we've knocked around, we've we've done our, we've done the locomotive brake test, we'd hand it off to the road crew. Um, and they'd take it from here off the ready track. And the ready track can kind of be wherever you want it to be, wherever you want it to be, uh, so long as that's where um, things are ready. And then we do the dance, right? And then we do the dance. Um, they you, they, they uh, do the hustle? They do the hustle. Um, though I'm not sure what 92 is doing there. So we'll we'll roll back enough. Uh, you want to roll back enough to clear up some room for uh, uh, 630 here? Can do. We'll, uh, we'll come back to the switch and... Uh, if someone is listening for uh, out there, uh, 92, I want to be able to squeak by them. And we'll, uh, and that's another thing you could do as a hostler. You could be putting the power on the trains, and then the road crew takes over there. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's all, it's all fake. Any, anyone what? can do anything. Oh, hello, dispatcher. Hi. Uh, what's uh what's needed next thing out, or is um, out yet? 
Next out is going to be extra 730, technically extra 735, because you know, road power helper. I'm talking to stream right now as well. Um, but the leader is 731. Okay. Extra, and that is... That's going, uh, crashing into the Andrews interchange. Okay, crash... Andrews. How many cars? Uh, I, I don't... Not a lot. It, it's a small train. Okay, so less than 20? Yeah. Uh, hey Nick, why don't we uh, roll back, we'll creep up to the crossing. And while 92's um, chucking that hack on, we'll, uh, we'll come down on top of our train. Or rather, the first train we're, uh, we're doing yard mastering stuff for. Sounds good. Um, uh, the Clockwork Angel has gifted five uh, memberships, to which we thank them. I'm embarrassed at how long it took me to realize that that's Clockwork Angel. I, I've, it's I, okay, I, I know, probably I, would have initially read it as Clockwork Angle myself. Yeah. Uh, Alright, uh, so Casey, just so it's on your radar, the... I think it's going so slow. Uh, the, the transfer isn't even to Topton yet, so that'll, that'll be here in perfect time in the middle of the session to just crash into everything. So. Oh, sweet. That, that'll crash in right at the worst time. Yep, and uh, the fast mail is currently fast mailing, so I'm, I'm sure that it'll either crash into Bryson or there'll be a wreck at, like, McLean or something, so. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and both Extra 90 and DL2 are on the road, so. Woo. Alright, I'll go back up here now. Thank you. Alright, Nick, bring her back. I got you lined all the way back to the train. Uh, we got, as hostlers, you know, we got power that just came in and it's our job to get it off and get it over and service. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll let some stuff clear out of that end of the yard a little bit before we do that. Um, so what, what we have going on, and you've heard our wonderful dispatcher popping in here and uh, giving us some heads up on some moves and stuff. We've got a Bryson train earlier. We had a we got word of a Bryson transfer. Uh, one car coming inbound. Uh, half a car. Um, coming inbound to Bryson, and that's going to be a big drill for us to break up and sort out. Um, there's a DL2 out behind that, which we're going to have to put cars on later in the session, possibly, um, uh, it may even, it may go back out next session, I don't know, um, alright, I'm going to yeet this thing forward, and send it down to the signal, you know, the, the, the road crew's here, the road crew took over, we hustled their engine, they thanked us for a good job, we job briefed them on everything we did to it, and now it's, uh, now it's walking out of town, uh, we hey, did a good job. To Bryson Yard God? Uh, hello, BR1. Uh, I was looking for line out of the yard to go pick industries on the west side of Bryson, but I was gonna... uh, you can you you can chase this guy's tail and uh, just talk to dispatcher before you before you leave the signal territory. Copy. Uh, I was also gonna try to put the Andrews cars on that thing, but oh, whatever. Oh well. We're doing it live. It'll. It, you know what? Like I always say, when I'm just when I'm doing a yard master, empties east, empties west. Make make it the next yard guy's problem. Yep. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna sneak out under your signal, and John's not gonna know about it. So peace. <laughs> Later. Uh, Rue Parker is commenting that the difference between the, our stream and Jersey's, uh, we are a Zen guarded. Which that's yeah. a. We, we pride we on that. Yes, that is exactly correct. We're, uh, we're, we're coming from our we perspective. We are the Enya of Jer rail operations. Jersey Stream is kind of the back end of what the AM and W is usually like. Um, from this perspective, you're getting the, um, you're getting the, um, the immersion, um, the, the immersion version of the, uh, of the, of the, of the, of the company. The, uh, you like that the immersion Enya. version? Yes, yeah. I, I dig it. Immersion version. We will put that as a trademark. Yes. All right. 
I'm gonna bonk. So I don't, I don't think I put, I did not put 40's whistle on 40. There we go. Now that has been rectified. There we go. It has the correct whistle. Um, the engine will bite me for that now that I've done that, but you know, we've done that. Okay, let's go back and let's go forward. All right, I think I heard Squiggy join, which means a, a question for the Yardmaster. Oh, I was just uh, commenting in Grunin, but I did happen to finish on Cool, so I'll be ready to head over to my train, uh, I guess, uh, at the dispatcher's discretion. Uh, no, you're still you're still in the yard, so you're good. You can. I'm getting your switches now. Uh, you can run through the yard. Your train is on track one. Understood. You can tie on and uh, get the hell out of Dodge. Understood. Proceed to track one. All right. So uh, once one twenty three, we see is crossing back over. Then we'll uh, we'll do our move with forty and get that tucked away. Sounds good. All right. I'll get I'll step up but, there. Um, is spacing out with Ginger. Wait, is that a mic in yard service? No. No, no this is mic and log service. No, this is uh, this is power that just came in. All right, I'm gonna close up that angle cock and pop that coupler so that way, as soon as uh, that way, as soon as we see the one, two, three moving off of service, we can we can go tuck this engine away. Um, but yeah, this is this is like a, a big early part of doing yard work that kind of no one talks about, and it's, it's not always switching the yard. Like hostlers are a part of what happens in a yard. It's a it's a major part of even to this day of keeping the trains moving is grabbing power, bringing it over to the shop, bringing it over to the fuel rack, getting it serviced. Um, it's it's a huge thing, and it's, it's just stuff no one talks about. I'm back in the olden days when this was done uh, for real uh, you had plenty of engineers who started as cleaners and then worked their way up to hostlers before they got to stay in the right seat permanently yep 100% and that's that's usually how it works is even to this day like you start out as a student you start out before you're a student fireman you, you start out cleaning the engines, wiping it down, helping with oiling on running days or fire up days and you get Question. to learn the engine and you learn the parts. Uh, yes, answer. Uh, can I yeet the 731 out of the yard? Oh yes, please. Okay, cool. I'm going to go back up here. Okay. I just realized that for the soundboard we need to have an old-fashioned telephone ringing. We do. So you added all those radio sound effects, but so uh, uh, chat, all the modern I, radios. But chat, cool. I I had a little bit of fun. Um, let me just let me just call up dispatch here really quick. Uh, I I gotta turn on my portable radio. Uh, this is a brakeman to a hostling engineer on a radio check over. Good on the radio check. <laughs> so, um, so, so I, I got access to sound effects. I've had access to sound effects. And, um, I finally decided to have a little bit of fun. So, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's not a problem. Oh, and I so, see yes, add the, the old fashioned bring bring. Yeah, we, we gotta, we gotta pull up like a phone booth phone. I like how we have three steam locomotives all, all moving. Uh, it's right. awesome. Uh, uh, so we'll, we can get this guy away. Um, and we can pull out 17, because 17's got to take these logs up the hill. Right. Um, I'll hop on 17. 
Awesome. So while you're fueling 17, I'll go pull the hack off with uh, number one. You doke. I'll help you get this guy away first and get 17 out. And uh, let's see, it's uh, it's pretty good on fuel and water. I'll, I'll say, well, let's just put it away. We'll get it serviced, and uh, the the hostlers, when this needs to go out, can take care of it. Which uh, is probably going to be us, but you know. Yeah, I hate to say this, but I don't think starting a new save helped the frames at all. It didn't? No, I thought they were a little better. A little better? Yeah. Maybe it's me. We can, do a, we can put it to a vote after the fact and see what people say. Uh, yes. I appreciate the pun there, Corey Gibson, uh, who says, When I'm feeling sad, I invest in the stock market. It helps uh, to have some company. <laughs> Uh, uh, you want to keep rolling? Oh, this ahead? would be great. You're, uh, you're oh, I thought you were the AI. No. I wasn't you're... controlling it. That was the AI. Okay, I got it. Oh, oh, the AI's still on. Well, that's fun. There we go. Now, okay, now you should be I'll in control. Get it. There we are. Alright, and I think anywhere in there is good. Joke. Alright, let's see if we can... Yep. A oh, little more. A little more forward? Oh, a little more over. Oh, oh, gotcha. Nope, a little more. Gotta go back. spot you underneath the smoke jack here. I'll be a good brakeman. Alright, Ahab. Alright, I'm coming along my train and I'll get word from the dispatch. Alright, uh, thank you, Squeaky. Have a safe run out there. Thank you. You, you take, you too. Alright. Uh, there we go. It's it's such a vibe and this is the cool thing. This is why I like doing yard work everywhere in general. Um is you get to see like everything going on. Like we got a passenger train switching out there to head up to the station. We've got a couple of road freights coming in and out. Uh, five feet. Four. Uh, Bryson Yard, Two, just to keep one, you up to speed. Far enough. Yes, Bryson Yard. Just to keep you up to speed on what I'm doing, I am backing up to the platform to, you know, do the passenger thing. The, the loading of people to, thing. Yeah, and then I'm going to uh, rightly fuck off. Have a safe run. No promises. I figured. It's the AM and W. It's a new save. Our safety rating used to be zero. I feel like we kind of got to get back there. It's it's the AM and W, and this train is being headed by the Archangel of Chaos. This is true. We'll have a run. I will. All right, seventeen. Hey. You're lined. Hey, so, uh, AC, hey, hello. I yes, got, uh, extra 90 is currently boss the walls in through Ella. Cool. Uh, I'm getting the 630 out, and it's going to pass at, uh, Gov Island. Can I bring 90 in? Uh, yeah, I got an open track for him. Bring him right in. Cool. All right, I'm going to go back up here then. Have fun. Meanwhile, there's no way this should have Melissa. So I am electing a new missile. Alright, there we go. There we I go. am gonna go that is it. before uh, 90 gets in. And this is this is the big thing with yard work is it's kinda non-stop. So I'm gonna 
scoot on down here and I'm going to grab our yard power. Oh, which is going to need water at some point. It'll be fine. Oh, I know that problem. <laughs> hey, it's, it happened one time. No, no, no. I know it because I... That, that was a me problem. I wasn't putting you on the spot there. That was me. I thought you were referencing the time I said, No, we can make it to Natahill. No. I mean, I, I remember that too, but... I was being self-deprecating in this instance. Oh, I'm having some bad lag, which is making it a pain to try to, or desync to try to get fueled up here. Yeah, and all of a sudden I drop down okay. to nine, ten frames. It's uh, it's fine. Early access or something like that. I don't know. Oh, I'm on I'm on a tower with a 3080. Uh, I kind of feel like it shouldn't be this bad, but you know, I I don't know. Spacing out with Ginger says, kind of wish there was a mic with a bigger tender and drivers. Yes. I, I agree. Um, you know, I've got some friends working on figuring out locomotive mods, and there's some positive stuff happening there, so maybe sooner rather than later. Got a, I've got a friend with the full drawings for uh, for uh, the American the American SYs. So, you know, I'm a little biased as to what I'd like to see done for a bigger mic, but, you know... Um, Maybe someday. Fingers crossed. But I think I think there's some good mods coming out that way. He's on to say S Y not. Awesome. And no, I think you once just want you, I think... it on the back end to be shoving, right? Yeah, shoving's usually easier. Um, and then uh, you'll help uh, you'll help get seventeen uh, at least to the bottom of the hill. Yes. I think we'll we'll probably have to talk with um. We'll we'll probably have to send that out once ninety comes in. Right. Uh. Corey Gibson uh, with another wonderful pun. Uh, what weighs more, a gallon of water or a gallon of butane? A gallon of water and butane is lighter fluid. Oh my god. Nick, you, you, you have someone who's beating you at your puns. <laughs> he, he is. I, I, I feel um, like I'm, I'm being challenged here, which I respect a good challenge. Um, hi, Goofy Critter. And uh, Alex, uh, or Ajax, with the, in my experience, however much water you need, double it and ready a second engine. Yeah. Yeah. When the resources are unlimited, such as a game like this, not well, we a bad. Mentality we always do have that. the Bryson Mobile refuel. All right, so come on in here. So my move, I'm gonna be grabbing this caboose, uh, chucking it over here on the hack on the caboose track. marker lights down and uh this is oh this is the whoops hang on fix some stuff that's the mohawk lumber company's caboose so we'll uh we'll put it over on the caboose track and the next time they have a train that goes out we'll uh we'll put it on their train Hold on, i'm gonna put a set on this guy here let me know if I'm good to come in. Yep, you're good to come in. I got a handbrake right. set and a set on the train. All right. I'm cutting away now. And that's a, that's a, that's how we do our handoffs. If we're swapping power on uh, my railroad, is you uh you take a set on the train, 
uh, and then you cut away, and um, you uh, cut away far enough so that way if they slant, so that way if the guy's coupling up slam into it, they don't shove you uh, against your independent, because that would be bad. So that's, uh, that, that's, that, this is exactly a real life move that uh, I have done a, a fair number of times, Nick. It's, it's nice to see something familiar and be like, ah, oh, yeah, no, I, I do that. Not often, have but like it's, their mischief in life. it's a nice sense of familiarity. All right, I'm tied on here now. All right. Um, I will take the handbook off, and then uh, I guess I will need to call the dispatcher to make sure we get to root this guy out. So I will jump in and uh, ping him and be back in a moment. All right, I will uh, we'll get this hack away and uh, yeah. So this is a uh, never-ending work here in the yard. This is uh, this is what tonight's going to be all about. It's going to be a lot of uh, I like to call it the one-in, one-out policy. And you've got uh, one train coming in for every one train coming out. At least that's how we try and make things work. Oh, hello, ninety-two. Ninety-two is our Bryson local. They are servicing, serving all the local Bryson industries. Where's the handbrake? We'll reach over the knuckle here to get that. Well, the dispatch has cleared me, uh, so uh, once ninety-two clears, then I will be able to get this guy out. All right, and then I will, uh, I will chase you down to our pocket as we await the arrival of uh, ninety here. That hooter sounds particularly goofy with the occasional uh, frame beeps and boops. Yeah. Start chasing you, rolling slow. Um, just creep on up to the switch. Uh, I should the blue line. Thanks for the sub and same thing Texas Machinist. Thank you. Alright, here we go back. And contrary to popular belief, uh, FOMA rules and all that, you, you don't need to ring the bell constantly. You just gotta ring at the start of your movement. Hi. Hi, uh, dispatcher. So you're aware the uh, extra 90 is, uh, God, like 12 things just dinged. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> the, uh, the who's he, what's it, what you might call it. Um, extra 90 is leaving Governor's Island. Copy that. Governor 90 leaving Gov Island. Whoa. We got him lined in. Okay, bye. Oh yeah, so I was gonna ask about bells because I was under the impression that one used bells when rolling alongside another train or you, you do. cars or you you do, but in the in the yard, um, it's only starting starting and stopping movements. Because if you were doing that, you'd have the bell on the entire day. That's true. And uh, okay, as as an engineer that uh, I worked with, uh, if I didn't grab the bell immediate and to stop it from swinging immediately after we went through a crossing uh the entire day you'd be hearing ding fucking ding fucking ding fucking ding uh and that's uh that's no fun for that's not fun for anybody good point okay uh our walker logging train is all right logging its way 
So we've got an inbound train and costs. I I did a little bit of homework ahead of time. Uh, they're they're right here. They're about a mile and a half out. Yeah. Yeah, about a mile and a half out. Two miles maybe. Um. I I, I looked ahead to see what we had coming up, and uh, on that train we've got some. We've got a we've got a big Andrews. Uh, train so we can get uh, an Andrews transfer. We can get a, a BR3 power ready. Um, we can get um, there's power for there's a uh, coal cars in there going up to the coal mine, and we can start putting together an Alarca train, BR2, and there's cars for BR1. So we've got a nice little smattering of a couple of jobs we can put together. Um, I know we, some stuff is blocked, some stuff isn't blocked, so we'll we'll see what the puzzle looks like when we get in. Um, but, uh, from the train master, um, me, but, uh, fr from the train master, passed down to the yard master, I know that the BR3 is priority to get out of Dodge. So we'll have to, um, kind of get everything else off of that train, get everything else off of, um, what just came in so that way we can make up a BR3 and get that out faster. Um, that sounds like a good plan. And then we'll kind of go from there. A a BR, a BR1 is the next important thing, followed by the uh, coal one um, as the uh, next important thing after that. Um, BR1 because they're working right now, coal one because they got to shoot up to the mine, and BR2 is the least important because there are cars um, on the Andrews transfer, which is, I don't, I don't even think it's gotten the Nanahela yet. I mean, you know, I wouldn't have the ability to look back in the day. Oh, there we go. They're at Wesser. So we've got a little bit of time. Ooh, there. There is the Bryson transfer coming in nice and hot. Very hot. Gonna have to have a word with that uh, train crew about what yard speeds are supposed to mean. <laughs> Oh look, it's slowing down. <laughs> it realized it made it to its destination. Um. <laughs> oh, and, and uh, so yes, uh, Clenardo says different railroads have different operating rules for bell usage. I'm curious what your rules are for where you work, uh, Clenardo. Um, uh, what do you call a fish that wears a bow tie? Sophisticated? Nope, that is. I am <laughs> rejecting that one. That is not. Oh uh, god, that's that's like extra bad. That's that's bad even by my standards. So nope, we are rejecting that. Um, yes, Kenosha. I I thought I heard a, a guitar off of the the far distance. Um, no, Kenosha is playing on the stream right now. Oh, on the other stream. No, yeah. no, on, on our stream. Oh, uh, they got too caught up in the moment. Hey, um, hey, Casey. Oh, I... Uh, hey, dispatch, over. Uh, oh, right, there is. God damn it. All right. Should I, uh, should I start causing some chaos and sending some passenger trains out on the railroad? Oh, yeah, let's get the passenger trains moving. Those are fun. Uh, so do you want me to send the Andrew Silva and Silva Andrews trains out? Yeah, and then send the Alarca thing once, uh... Once Auntie gets up there. Sure. And then uh, when do you want ADFF? Uh, whenever. Or should I discretion? Disc use your discretion advised. Okay. Have uh, some fun with it. All right. Uh, is everything? Hang on. I'm, uh... All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop back up here, but I will uh, I'll do that. All right. Uh, we'll be talking to you soon. I gotta I'm gonna have a train to send out of here in a little bit. Um, we're we're at the climax of Kenosha. But uh, looks like Hostler's, uh, looks like uh, the, the bracing transfer's in, so why don't you roll ahead and make your pin on. I'm going to uh, get myself up here to the other end of the train. And, BR1, uh, the bracing yard. Hello, BR1. Uh, pretty sure I've picked everything. There wasn't much. Uh, let me know when the cars get in for BR2. Uh, I've got three drops here for you that i got to walk out so uh stand by once you see all three sitting on a track by themselves you can grab them and get going 
Is it literally just those three cars? It's three cars, and then there's like nine more coming around Wesser right now. Oh, uh, where is Wesser? Okay. I'm like 20 miles away. Cool. So I'll so just do two runs. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to start hustling the Mikado then. All right. Uh, we 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 probably got a while before BR2 departs uh, as well. Plus, that's uh, yeah. waiting on cars off the other uh, off the other side. I mean, I'll just do two runs of BR2. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll keep an eye out for those cars. All right. Oh. <laughs> it, what? Uh, just just look at the chat. Uh, your chat? No, uh, game chat. Oh. We were off okay. one car. So. Oh. <laughs> that I, I dropped out, so I couldn't warn you that my train was a runaway. So sorry well, about uh, that. you missed the climax at Kenosha by a little bit there. <laughs> uh, and the irony is I can't even hear it. Maybe I that's please. why I was doomed to be that person. Okay, well, we're a little brown, but we're not out. It's fine. At least it was, All at right. Least it um... So, uh, if we're prioritizing stuff for BR3... Um, that's going to be the Snowbird and Andrew's cars, yes? Yes, I've got, um, gonna let that main res pump back up before I, uh, tie in the air. Where's that at? That, that's going to be just the Snowbird cars. Because that, right, that's okay. just the train direct to Snowbird. So what we'll do is we'll pull everything back a little bit. Um, and get just the snowbird cars ready. Okay, um, it, including that pulpwood, that lone pulpwood card that's with the other Andrew. Yeah, cars. we'll have we'll have to go over and pluck that out. So here's what I'm thinking, and the nice thing about this is you could have a bird's eye view, which you can't do in real life. Here's here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we roll back like four car lengths with that. We cut away from the snowbird stuff. Um, we take. Everything else, we take um, the hoppers. Mm, yeah, we take everything else. Uh, we'll kick everything else on top of the Andrews transfer stuff, the Andrews interchange stuff. We'll take the uh, Robinson Gap Coal Company stuff, and we'll ditch it over onto what is this? One, two, three, four. Onto four. Yeah. We'll ditch that onto four. Uh, that's New Haven, New Haven track eight. If you're keeping count at home, um, and then we'll come back in and we'll start breaking everything else up. It's so confusing to be at the Danbury Railway Museum where they have 42 tracks, except they don't. Right. All right. Um, so hopefully you have enough main res that I can do this and it won't dump you now. Hey, it's me again. Aloha. Uh, the Andrews transfer. Yeah. Am I able to just throw that into the yard, or do you want me to hide it somewhere for a little um, bit? Um, don't it let it don't let it pass Hemingway without talking to me. Okay. Uh, it's uh, currently an almond. So. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna uh, try. Well, and, uh... I was gonna try and hide it and then run the fast mail around it, but. That yeah. Let's. I like that idea. It's, it's McCain, like 37 McCain's... cars. Do you think it'll fit in Brooks? Maybe. There's that spreadsheet. There's that spreadsheet I posted in the Discord somewhere. Yeah, I, it's. It'll it definitely says... fit in McCain. McCain's 27. I'm already passing a train there. That's the only problem. Oh, okay. Um, uh, McCain. May... Uh, Brooks says 34. The train's 37. Like all in all engines. I mean, so if, I you might... do a, if you do a saw by. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll Nick, uh, you're clear back four cars. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, how about a, how about a, how about a... Oh, did you get uh, booted again, Nick? I, I'm here again, but I did okay. momentarily get booted there, so... Uh, uh, yeah, clear back four cars. 
give me one second. yeah um ajax wanted to know if uh, ajax said uh i guess br denotes a train starting from bryson yes br and dl are our um home terminal designations so if you start out of bryson you're a, a br if you start out of dillsboro you're a dl except for dl2 which um is um it goes from Dillsboro to Bryson and back to Dillsboro. Um, so it may stop way halfway through the day um, and terminate in Bryson while it's waiting on more cars, then go back out. But it's still considered a Dillsboro train. All right. Yep, nope. Keep, keep going. I pulled the pin. Oh, okay. Run hard. I thought we were making a stop for four cards. All right. Nope. Uh, clear back to clear switch. One. Engine one. All right. It's important in the yard to use... To not use your air as much as possible because that makes kicking harder because you got to take some time to recharge. I'm going to get some switches as we are... You're backing up. I see people were having uh, fun at my expense with the uh, head chain. Ah, you know. We, we gotta get the safety rating back. It's gonna be long. And I think it's gonna be a long, Four long cars. time. I mean, we gotta get our safety rating back to zero. Two oh, no, cars. Not again. Oh, I'm here. One okay. car. Half a car and yeah, It's a good thing enough. you have control of my engine. Oh, did Maybe. you just get booted again? Because there's always a chance I could just completely disappear again. Oh. And you did. All right. I ran out of room. No, nope, something else happened. Weird. Um, all right, I recharged you. I got the pin pulled here. Why don't you give me a kick? You, you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Hello? Nick? Bueller? Um, hello? You're having... Yes, I, ca I can hear you. So can chat. Let me, uh... Alright, you're, uh... You're figuring it out. See, we, may we could switch the video. Okay, far enough. Oh, hey, hey, look at this. Uh, can you hear me? Are you back? Or am I kind yes. of talking about... Okay, now you're back. I there we back. go. That's why it, it kind of cut out, and then I was here. That's my right. end, and it means you You can start creeping ahead. Boy, between Steam servers and going down and... Switch. Yeah, I'm going to get the switch as I roll by. My end, Okay, thank you. Uh, you know, there's actually nothing illegal about bottling. Do you want me to leave bottling. a caboose with these uh, uh, Robinson cars? Yeah, you know what? We'll save us the move. I don't think the other... <laughs> should we should we give them a really dinged up caboose? All right, or not. Back. All right, I am going to get the... Switch as I roll by, and you can knuckle into that first set that we kicked. Which hopefully has... And on one second, I have to go AFK. I will do this. Okay. Well, then I'm going to knuckle that in.
All right, that's tied down, that's labeled. And usually, you know, you, you get paperwork that tells you where your train is, what track it's on and all that. Uh, since that doesn't exist, what we like to do to simulate that is we label the cabooses with the crew, with what the crew's called. So that way a crew can go out into the yard and be like, oh yeah, no, that's, I'm over on, they said I'm on track four and there's the hack that's labeled for me. Did I, I line this for the wrong track? There, forward, ahead, here we go. It's old school so we can actually ride the footboards on up to our train. Can't do this now, not allowed to have any fun. I'm back. Welcome back, I'm uh, I'm rolling our engine ahead to make the hitch. And Very talking to that. myself as I do it about what I'm doing, and even calling out ahead far enough to myself. Plus I'm um, insane? I don't know, something like that? It's interesting to see, um, play the tourist railroads that they can't have footboards, so they have the, like, the, a little ledge, like you couldn't stand on it, but it, like a kind of markation of where, when it's gone. Actually, no, we, we don't need air. What am I doing? Just, just pull back? Uh, nope, I got four handbrakes to knock off. Oh yeah, I see that. We're gonna pop that handbrake. I am pushed on. Pop that Hi, handbrake. Aye, sir. Uh, that guy and... Nah, that guy. Yep. Alright, one, you're clear back to clear the yard lead switch. Take her east. Yeah, so this this is a wonderful switcher. Uh, this is a URSRA design. I am I'm happy. We can finally use the 080. We we've been we've been diligently hiding this engine for a year now. Unable mm -hmm. to use it, and we can we can finally use it in the stream. That it's a nice chunky switcher. It really is. It does the job well. Put the power down when and where you need it. So I'm going all the way uh, clear of the yard ladder then? Yep, clear the yard lead. We gotta uh, ditch this, um, we've gotta ditch this pulpwood car and then we'll go in, we'll grab a hack um, off the hack track, kick that on. Wow. Uh, Sorry, I had the Hi. map up. I couldn't see it. <laughs> Hi, did, no, I just sent it. Oh, okay. Um, this was you can let uh, the crew for the coal train know that their train is made up here in Bryson, and they can uh, grab their power, hustle it, and depart at their leisure. Who the fuck is the coal train? The... All right, far what enough one. What is it? Is it coal two? Uh, coal one. The, oh, it's the westbound. All right, uh, says, let's kick it ahead. One, four. Four's not running tonight. Okay, so is it engine six thirty two? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, it's marked as two on the board. Oh, that's weird. It should it should be one west, two east. Uh, strong kick one far enough. Stop. All right, so the six so the so coal one is to Robinson. Okay. Yes. How many cars? Uh, small. Eight. Uh, one, roll it back. Car and a half to clear will, switch. Uh, I will communicate with the crew, and then I'll send them down here. All right, thank you. Half a car, truck, far enough one. Let's go ahead up to the hack track. Got you lined. I say as I'm actively clicking the lining switches. I, I trust that the switch is all V-lined in time, <laughs> and that I do trust. Uh, 
Uh, Amtrak is surprised that we never use diesels on our streams. We we use the GP9 once. Oh. They're very performance intensive, so don't really use them. Yeah. We we have have a, a quad between Bryson and um, Andrews, which will be coming in uh, eventually. They take. Ooh, fun. Uh, uh, one and car? The SW 1200. Half a car? It's a nice unit. Truck? Far enough. Oh. <laughs> you missed it. Just a I little. I did? Yeah. Come ahead. Uh, two I feet. think I had some lag. There you go. Again, there. There were. Far enough. There's some weird stuff going on in the... Yeah, I had some weird desync right at the exact wrong moment. Uh, we'll bleed that guy off. We'll release that. We'll bleed that. Alright, one... Take your ease. Clear the yard lead. Very good memory, yes. June of last year. But it's true. I don't think we have done the SW one in a we have stream yet. Well, uh, you know, we'll have to do Maybe one of the big. Maybe sometime we'll do that. To... We'll have to do one of the big paper industries so that way we can do the SW one. So that's uh, that's where Ooh, we're that's have. a good use. Maybe something in conjunction with the real life SW one that got saved. We can we can repaint at Boston and Maine for a night. Uh, four cars. I keep, Two. I keep forgetting to mention. One. As well, I was so ready for tonight. I even have Half a switcher truck and an HO. Far enough. All right, pins pulled. I have an HO switcher tech. on my desk. Ooh. It's an 060. Ooh. CN Ooh. as in um, the same type as uh, Conway Scenics Canadian National 060 oh yes I, I heard about that at Amherst alright far enough alright that'll roll in we're going to label that for the, the BR3 or BR3 West alright take her back a uh, car and a half to clear switch We'll ditch this hack, we'll ditch the Andrews stuff, uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll separate out the Alarka stuff far enough. Uh, BR2 to Bryson Yard. Hello, BR2. Uh, if you want to just pick out the cars that are also supposed to be BR1, it looks like I'll just pick those on the way to gonna, Alarka. Gonna do a combined job? Yeah. All right, sounds good. All right, far enough, oh, number one. I can, I can come back and just take that coal car now. Um. Yeah, let us. We'll let. It, we'll how about we'll kick that one through the yard at you. Um, okay. And uh, then then we'll get your train assembled into uh, something of an order. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Uh. Engineer Locomotive 632 calling Bryson Yard. Hello, 632. Um, I do not believe I have permissions to run equipment. Oh. Uh, yeah, you do not. Um, congratulations, you've been promoted the train master. Thank you. All right. Da, 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 da. All right. Far enough one. Hey. Hello. How long till BR2 is ready? Um, kicking it together now. Okay, like ETA? 10 minutes. Okay. Is that, uh, is that doable for you? I think they went back to the other channel. Yes, they went back All to right. the other channel. This is, uh, this is turning into quite a night. All right, so we're going to kick this lumber car through. Uh, 
All right, far enough. Um, we're gonna stash these cars for now. Where are we gonna stash them? I don't know yet, but we're figuring that out. Um, yes, yeah, C141. It's 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 all it's an eerie joke. I think we we learned on uh, Mark Stream on Sunday. Someone asked if uh, there is anything on this railroad that isn't a meme, and the answer is a no. All right, you're lined one. Kick him. I think it recoupled. Yep, just pulled it. All right, far enough. Okay. There's no this FRA be... person in the bushes. There is no FRA person in Bossing Say. All right. Uh, so we'll get rid of the Yolo box car. Uh, first, I'm just talking out the move here with you. Uh, we'll oh. kick the we'll kick the Yolo box. We'll kick. Okay, fine. You're going. That's uh, rolling. Well, let's knuckle into it and kick it harder. Sorry. All right. Far enough. I got confused as to whether I was doing the thing or we were just reviewing the thing. Okay, now we're reviewing the uh, thing. We, we were reviewing a thing, but now we're... Alright, uh, so we'll get this Alarka car moved up there. Or the Standard Oil car. We'll get the Standard Oil car up that track. We'll get the Alarka car up on top of that guy. Far enough. Hang on, I gotta... Do, 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 do. Seen all these cars are you, are you going the down the town? track. Yes, I've seen all these cars going down. Makes me think of that. All right, uh, clear one car kick. Clear ahead one car. We'll kick it. Um. Uh, Did you just get kicked? No, I think I just ran out of. No, I don't. I didn't run out of stuff. I don't know why it wasn't moving. I've given it full throttle. It's not moving. Uh, it does not show me at full throttle for you. Oh, well then maybe bad things are happening. Or bad All right, happen. I'll. Uh, I will kick my car then. It's a. It's a remote. Pa it's a remote control unit. Here. Okay, now it's now I'm moving. Okay, now I think I can do things again for some reason. Weird, Weird. but okay. All right, uh, let's kick this last car and then we'll go collect all the Alarka stuff. No, it recoupled. Oh, what? Okay. Oops. It'll. We'll just let it roll. Slowly. Well, yes, I was that. doing the train time thing. Oh, well, that's doing that. Why won't you... Is it... I was pressing the wrong key. That's why you wouldn't teleport. Alright. They made it. Good. Alright. That's good. Talk. I got you lined back into the Alarka cars. Um, can we... we Alright, so we'll have to do a second move. That's fine. Uh, got a very fast song playing in my ears, and I am thinking incredibly fast right now about all the moves we gotta do. Oh, that's why you were... Yeah, got it. Uh, half a car. Ten feet. Five. Four, three, two, one. Got him. Alright, so if we get this Alarka train put together, then we can go back over to Hostling Power and pull out two engines for the Andrews transfer. Or not the Andrews transfer, the BR3. Uh, one, clear back, clear the yard lead.
Uh, right. Hi. Um, hi. I know you're trying to get stuff in. Can I give you a parade of... Can we get a little bit of a parade of... Um, Which uh, way? Westbound's out of here. What? I'm going to do it. You can see the board right now. <laughs> um, I, 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 I got a BR3 to get out of town. Uh, keep rolling back one. BR3 is to where? Uh, it's going to Andrews. Nope. It, your other backwards one. <laughs> what do you mean the other back? All right. Um, Let me get a marker for this thing ready. BR3. Uh, I need. If, to... if I can get that out of town, that'll completely clean out the yard for the Andrews thing to come in. Okay, Andrews transfer is still holding in Brooks a bit. Okay. Uh, I need to get the uh, far enough one. I need to get the fast mail and the 611 through, and then bring the scoot in, and then I can get BR3 out. Because everything scoot... just decided to show up at a locker junction at the exact same time. Nice. So. I... Fuck you, Auntie. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, you might want to I need you to re uncouple the, the car, by the way. Oh, uh, yep, I, I got it. Sick. I got it. Just keep keep going. Don't stop. Okay. Nope. Um, All right. I will I will let you know when the BR3 is made up and ready to go. And, uh, is there a crew just, for that or is that robot? It's going to be roboted. Okay. Now, is there anybody to manage Nana Hale or helpers or anything? Um, I chat with Squiggy about that. That's usually his uh, his domain. Squiggy was just running what six thirty, I think. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna let me let me go talk with him real quick. All right. Uh, uh, I think he's just wrapped up. I will ping you again when I am ready to get the uh, the thing. The the BR three moving out of town. Let me know when BR two is good as well. All right, I'll uh, I'll send a goose up. All right, okay. one. Let's uh go ahead to the hack track. Yes, we, uh, I, sir, you are correct. We, we run this for reals. Even if we're not making for real money. The money still counts for us. With, uh, with how much we damage stuff. That's true. We do have a knack for that. Alright, well, we're doing a very good job of cleaning this yard out. It is, uh, I do apologize, uh, with how fast it moves at times. All right, uh, keep coming ahead. Oh, you need an apologize to me. And I did. Go. All right, far enough one. Roll her back. All right, we'll get this guy kicked on. We'll put the Mohawk Lumber Caboose away for the third time. Um, and then I'll let, you know, we'll, we'll just leave one tied on over by, over with the cabooses and, uh, the cabise, but the cabise, keep rolling back. Gotta clear this track. Got six to go. Um, we'll leave the caboose over with, we'll leave the, uh, yard power over with the cabise and then we'll go over and we'll start hostling again. One car, half truck, far enough. All right, pins pulled, kicker. Okay. Far enough. What? That was what? weird. That was, all right. Come back in on her. Okay. Okay, now I sure it is. All right, far enough, back her up. Switch line, clear head back to the hack track. We'll tie down. And you'll notice our, our engine is called the Yard God. Is it? Yep. No, I think you... Oh. Oh, in the menu. The tender shows AM and W. No, uh, if, you, if you look at the, uh, the side of the cab. Oh, that's where you put it. Okay. I was used to seeing it on the tender for a while. I don't think you have um, the Amtrak's comment. I don't think you have all tier five selected, right? Uh, like the only thing that's not everything's tier five except for the Silva Parsons. 
um, industry. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, well then we. Um, so it, that one's just I don't know. It's kind of an annoying amount of switching. I didn't realize we were the fat. Good. Yay for us. Yeah. All right. And BR2 has, I, I recognize then that I whistle. Would say we're that is a here. Texas and Pacific three chime. Alright, and I'm going to head on down to the um, engine house and start lining the table to pluck out some more power. So you've got a double headed train out of here for the. Snowbird. All right, so road power is 33. Helper is 632. Did you get booted again? Nick? Alright, I think Nick got booted again. Because we're, we're having a time tonight. I'm going to have to play with this for a little bit. I better like the whistle. We're gonna make this something I like. Cause I can. Nathan six. There we go. Um. Yes. Amtrak. Uh. Usually is more hoppers. Um. But uh, it's a. Uh, oh look, the fast mail. It is a. Uh, it is a weird night where. Uh, we got a very small early delivery of hoppers with a lot of cars for everywhere else. So I'm sure next time the interchange rolls over, uh, there, there will be more hoppers. But uh, we'll, we'll deal with that when that happens. Not a problem yet. Hello again. Oh, did you crash out? Yeah. What, did you crash? Yeah, well, not crash, but uh, disconnected. So. Oh, well, what? And I'm not seeing your purpose. I'm trying to get back in. All right. Well, I'm, all right, so we'll get, uh, we'll get 30 hostled over next. Roll this guy back. And this is where having a few people doing this makes sense. Uh, if you're running a really busy server, just have one person hostling engines, getting stuff ready, so that way, as crews finish up with a job, they can just hop right onto the next thing. guess and line that up correctly? No, I, I absolutely did not. Interesting. Facing the issue we were facing at the beginning of the stream of not being able to see oh, no. any... Of... Hello. Hello. How was your round trip? Um, I scared the shit out of dispatch, so good. Nice. I am probably going to need water before I head back. Well, actually, maybe not. All right. Uh, feel free to use the column on the main uh, if you don't if you don't need to zigzag all the way over. Yeah, I I don't need coal. I only used 0.4 tons in the run down from Alarka. Man. So. Man. 
I'm a damn good engineer. <laughs> Uh, actually, I only used about 600 gallons of water, too. I probably that's, don't that's need it. That's not bad. That's surprisingly efficient. Anyway, I'm going to go uh, turn more of John's hair gray. Have fun. I wonder if I'm having the steam, like the steam thing is affecting um, me specifically. Have you, have you restarted the game completely yet? I keep trying to restart the game completely, and I see oh. nobody else's servers. Oh, interesting. And every time I play, it says uh, Steam is unable to sync your saves with. Yeah, I was oh, getting interesting. That. It would save it in that, and I just restarted it, and it didn't give me that message, and now it works. Actually, oh. I, th I think Steam is having a is having a hissy fit tonight. It is. Although I'm not at see. <laughs> Now I'm seeing other servers, but not yours. So uh, can future. you can you search AMW? Does that produce anything? No, it doesn't. That's the thing. I see like six other servers, seven. But oh, that's odd. Yeah. So yes, I, I am uniquely having an issue with Steam. Okay. Well, I will. I will. I will continue with uh, business as usual until you can get back in. I'm just. Right. Filling Apologies filling things with water. Pressure. No, no worries. Ah, don't really want to know what that is. Uh, uh kill, kill an Ardo. Does your job have? Does your yard job have any local work, or is that all done by other trains? That's all done by other trains. Hey, uh, Casey. Uh, hello, dispatch. I have deal two at uh, Gov Island. Can I bring him in and fuck up your day? He's like sure. eight cars. Yeah. Uh, got... And the I know that they were commiserating with the CCR crew. Mm -hmm. uh, any, the, the, I'll I'll get the word from him, but he might bring all the logging stuff back because there's like no coal in Whittier. Oh, well, yeah, no, that's a problem. Yeah. So let me. I will get him railroad, and then uh commiserate with him about what the scoop is with uh yeah stuff let's and... let's get a let's get br uh two and dl2 in first um yeah and then we'll uh we'll and then he'll commiserate out... with you yeah because uh there's some walker stuff that can happen um and if walker stuff happens um then uh then there then there will be a return for that ccr train okay all right i will uh We'll talk. So it is a it is a busy night here on the railroad. Well, that's filling down there. I actually gonna do a little bit of work to make some room now. I'm only showing nine other railroads. None of them are yours. Interesting. I am sad. Uh. Oh, hello, train lady. Glad you could join us. Hi, this is DL2. Hello, DL2. <laughs> uh, I was just told by dispatch that I should talk to you. I'm coming down the hill from Governor's Island to Bryson. Uh, yep. Don't uh, don't speed in too quick. We're uh, clearing up the track for you right now. Roger. Uh, I have. Uh, let's see. Have a grand total of five freight cars, and they are blocked for you. Oh, how kind. everything is, everything is westbound. Oh, well, how extra nice. kind. Um, well, uh, I'm clearing out a track for you right now. Uh, you can come right on in on it, and then there's a Walker logging job if you're uh, if you're interested. Yeah, do that. Uh, and that'll give uh, that'll give CCR one half something to do. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Uh, just watch your targets coming in. Uh, we'll be lining you for a track. Sounds good. All right. See you soon. Yep. Oh, that's. I thought I saw your player character, and I'm like, no, that's that's me. Nope. I I'm still now. I'm trying to restart Steam as a means of getting back in. Uh, hello, Master Chaos, the Void Queen. That's quite a name. 
That is quite a name. Did I let that fly correctly? All right. So here's chat. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm gonna stash these cars over here, out of the way. So that way I can start making up an Andrews transfer train. Start to make up an Andrews transfer train. Uh, and then I can get this BR3 out of town. As soon as I'm done fueling. I'm trying to do two things at once. I'm both hustling and and making up trains. Uh, yes, I... Uh, impressed by our amount of cabooses. The, the, all of those will be used, which is the equally impressive part. We, we can just block Main Street here, right? I think that should be fine. I... I, I you know, in the many uh, years of playing this, I, I have not encountered a single car on the road. You know, it, it seems to be a very um, not often used street. Alright, so... DL2 is lined in. We're back over with these guys. Come uh... on. Climb on up. We're running my favorite in-game engine. The Oedo? Yes, uh, Master Chaos the Void Queen again, uh, wondering favorite engines. So we're I think I'm, mode. I think I'm legally obligated to say the Mogul. Oh right, you have additional reasons. I, I have a reputation to uphold. Yes, that does make sense. It does. Texas Machinist, it is surprising to me how many mods are already made for Railroad or for it being out for over a little over two months. Yes. Uh, train simulator fandoms are a wonderful thing. Having the experience going all the way back to, for me, going back to the days of Microsoft Train Simulator, you work with what you have. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, and Train Lady, uh, saying they've been a huge fan of Atlantics, uh, well, and... We've got a good number of those on the railroad as well. Void Queen, uh, their favorite is the C46, which I'm always bad at knowing which designations those uh, are. That's, uh, that, that's the, uh, Southern 630. Uh, okay, that's a good one. Um, Facing Out with Ginger asks if they're wrong for not really liking the Mogul. No, you're not wrong. You're just not right. Um, that's okay to have your own favorites. I'm, I, I, I made a meme of myself for uh, liking the for using the mogul a lot early on, uh, as a when we were beta testers that was a very for the game. Movie. Um, I, I mean, it made sense for the map size at the time. Um, it makes less sense now, but I still find a reason to use them and have them. Um, but they're you know. I don't know. I, I like the small utilitarian engines. I like Mikados. I like ten wheelers. Uh, I like moguls. Uh, that's uh, that's that's my jam. Is power. It's what I like to run. I mean, I run all mogul or all mics and Akani. Um, that's that's my bread and butter. Um, but you know, I'd, I'd love a chance to try and fire a nice little mogul or a high stepping passenger ten wheeler one day. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I don't know. It's it's okay uh. to like different engines. Moral of the story. Uh, Master Chaos the Void Queen uh, says they're obligated to like the C46 because their local steam engine is what C46 is based on. Fair enough. Um, and asks if we like model railroads. Yes. Uh, Sh shameless plug extensively. time. Uh, which, what thing are we plugging? Your uh, great model train line, or what is it, model oh. train line live? Well, if you're going to open the door, I will certainly I, I'm going to open it, the yeah. door for you to plug it. Always. Okay, so yes. Um, typically the second Tuesday, or second Thursday of the month at 7 Eastern, uh, I stream Great Train Layouts live. Uh, the website for which is greattrainlayouts.com. Um, the streams are on YouTube. Uh, so you can find the links there. Um, we build train layouts in Trains with the Z Railroad Simulator. Different track plans to determine 
uh, what is the best way to make use of space, to pre-visualize layouts, and to play test them before we build them. Uh, great way of trying different concepts. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So uh, our next stream, so just last week, I uh, did a stream with engine terminals, the steam engine uh, terminals. We did a, one in a city and one in the country. Uh, and next month, uh, we'll be streaming on the 14th of March. And I think it's going to be um, uh, this guy to Train Master. Uh, Train Master. Can I? So that, uh, the 730 whoosie, what's it, whatever thingy stuff. The, the coal train? The, no, the 731. The, the extra I sent out about 700 oh, years Oh, yes. Ago. I forgot about that's, that thing. That's like a 900 ton ish train. Can I, uh, can I just send that up the hill? No helpers? Uh, it's got 200. In. Hang on, I'm doing the math. That's nine ish. That's how many tons? 900. It's going right. up because it's getting watered, but two engines. All right, so that is calculator 466 plus 466. Uh, it's good for 932 with the two engines. Okay. All right, cool. I'm going to go back up here then. Hey, DL2 to Bryson Yardmaster. I'm in your yard. <laughs> uh, yes, I see that. I see what you're doing, and I appreciate it. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Realize the train is blocked properly for that move, so... Um, I, I was looking at it, and I'm like, alright, like, I guess, like, I can, like, back down the road power, pluck those off, and pay the road crew for switching for the day. Uh, mm -hmm. but this works out better. And I will line you right into the roundhouse. What? With, what, like, when you're done with your moves, that way you can just go right on into the roundhouse. I'm, I'm being yeah. helpful, uh, over here. I think I'm being helpful, too. I don't know. Hard to tell. I like uh, that there's uncertainty about whether the help is being provided or not. Your uh, your uh, your yard god engine is back with with a couple of minor cosmetic changes. Oh. Oh, you didn't paint, you didn't paint it red this time. I didn't paint it red, and I put yard god on this on the uh the side nice. of the cab. Felt like it fit <laughs> better. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Quite a lot of. A chat, um, a lot of discussion about 10 wheelers and 440s. Oh, yes, I'm a, I'm a fan of 440s. I have one on my model there, on my actual model there. Um, <laughs> talk about the moment <laughs> in Western, which I have not experienced. Uh oh. We have Susquehanna 142 here. Hang on, what whistle does it have? Aw, the uh, the the SP6 chime number one in the uh, the mod pack is 142's uh, SP6. Ah, uh. so I was, I was checking to see if it was biblically accurate. And it is not. It it's got a pansy whistle, which is fine. It's a nice pansy whistle. Well, as long as it's a nice one and not a yes. Huge one. I'm sorry to be letting you all down here, but uh, I'm still not having any luck in terms of being able to actually get in. God, that's, uh, that's... I see 18 railroads. None of them are yours. It does not recognize your server. Uh, you've, you've gone okay. into, like, the ether. VR3, uh, how... What is engine and how many cars? Uh, leader is 631 number of cars, um... I'm I'm knuckling in right now. Give me a minute. Sure. How's the chaos? Not terrible. Uh, the Scoot and VR2 are currently sharing the same block, so that's you know something. But uh. that's normal. <laughs> well, you know it's it's scooting. Get it? Yeah, just a little bit. Um. Uh, 19 cars. Uh, 1,100 tons. 19, so that'll probably need, that'll need a helper. That uh, is 100, okay. Squiggy will Squiggy will know what to do with this. Okay, uh, so, uh, if you want to send that thing out to marinate at the, uh, actually, can you hold it on the number three track at, like, the very tippy top of the ladder on the west end? Yeah, what are you sending I, at me? 
Uh, oh, I gotta, I'm gonna kind of do a passenger meet in the yard because I need, to, I just trained just fucking clogging the railroad in Hemingway. All right, I will, uh, if I will you can hold line it at, I will hold it at the ladder. Yeah. Okay. That and, uh, it. you can, you can do your thing and once the passenger trains pass, I will, uh, I will let it out. Yep. Uh, thank you, thank yeah, you. if you can just make sure that that ground throw is lined for number two, that would be pretty awesome, uh, I yep. think. Yep, already got it, and I'm going to get the other side of the yard. All right, uh, yard line lock normal. You can move things. Uh, you, you, you can have your mains back. Thank you. Come again. Thank you, drive through. Come on, go, 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 go. Get out of the block, Goose. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, uh, back up here I go. Have fun. Uh, train lady, uh, saying that they love Railroad so much they've already put them a little over 300 hours into the game. And trying to find a use for at least one of every locomotive in a very fun challenge. That is a very fun challenge. I'm, I'm, you know, with everything we, uh, with, with all the testing, I'm, I'm happy with how much people, uh, enjoy the game. And knowing that, uh, e even if I made a small difference on the development of it, that, it, it, it made a little bit of a difference, and people enjoy uh, it, the, the little bit that I was able to provide. That we were able to provide. We, whole VRA yes. team, put in a lot of work. Um, do that. All right. Definitely see nothing on that one. Well, I'm going to... Uh, Ajax sec uh, with um, 250 hours, which is still very impressive. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm waiting on our next our next move. We either got a log train coming in from over there, or we've got that guy coming in from over there. So we'll see what happens. But we've got we've got a couple of different things we're waiting on, and this this is the part of yard work. It's it's go 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 until it's stop and wait. Yes, and figuring out what pieces fit into what pieces. Passenger train arriving. Yes. With that that beautiful TNP six. Mm -hmm. TNP three. It is uh it is it, one of the whistles from the from uh that, that we used on a forty a couple years ago. It is off of um one of the seven hundred from Paulson Spence's collection. Um, the, uh, the, uh, was it the Louisiana and Eastern? Oh, right. The, um, the, the thing. So it's, it's off of one of the Texas and Pacific 700s, the big, the big Pacifics, uh, the ones that were painted blue. Oh. Um, and, sure. uh, yes, the, uh, the, uh, owner was selling it and brought it up and put it on for the day. And that's, uh, that's, that's where that whistle clip comes from. Hello, dispatch. Hey. Uh, so, God damn it! So the uh, BR three is that Andrew's thingy, right? Or is that a or, or um, wait, no, wait, you B BR three is ready, but I'm talking about the Andrew's transfer, the, the, the FPS the Express. FPS that you've Express, been... right, right. Uh, yeah. Okay, I will. Okay, I will get that onto the road. I will bring it to Hemingway, and then you're ready for it when. Uh... I am. I am ready for it. I've got. I've got an entire open yard for it. Oh, awesome. I can't wait for it to be clogged when the train gets to Hemming. It is 100% going to do that. Yep. Okay. I will, uh, fine. I'm going to get beer three out first, obviously. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to, I'll, I'll figure this out. Uh, right, I'm not, not sure what it's like over there, but it's, it's going smoothly from my side. That's not terrible. Uh, I'm just fucking swing to meet at Barker's. The ADFF is, uh, balling, but at what cost? Oh, hell yeah. 
And uh, 614 and 731 I... are both doing the thing. I, I can hear the dings. It... Is it coming through my mic? Yes. No. <laughs> no. No. It's not coming through. The, it's coming through the, um on me, because I'm, oh, I'm sitting. I'm I'm right here underneath the tower. I was, I was oh. foaming. Oh, you foaming? I you uh, know you... the the yard got quiet, so I started foaming. And, That's uh, fair. Uh, yeah, you'll get another password train in a second. Uh, six four Ooh. six eleven is uh about mile marker sixty five and a half. So Ooh. be soon. So you'll get a pass in the yard. Well, uh, let's let's go down here and foam that. Watch this this three way oh, meet over here. Um, yeah, no, you know, I'm, I'm doing yard crew stuff. I got I gotta get this hand throw. You gotta get, you gotta get a roll by on the uh, on the thing. Yeah, I, I gotta catch the roll by. Um, so while while we're waiting on these meets to happen for our next for our next job to work on. Uh, any any questions out there in the chat about yard work and switching and managing the the jigsaw puzzle and the hot mess that is switching a, switching a yard on a big railroad? Uh, spacing out with Ginger asks. So I'm getting a list together for a model railroad slash railroader. Would a decapod be a good branch line engine? Yeah. Um, yes, you know the that's the the engine in the railroader here, uh, the D forty six. It's a it's a Baldwin standard design, um, yep. and most popularly, uh, it's Strasburg ninety, which previously was Great Western ninety, which Great Western I would, I would definitely call a short line. Um, it's oh, good sure. for light Same rail. Thing. Um, it's a it's a beautiful thing. Uh, so decapod one hundred percent. Same thing with the Russians. Those were. They were, uh, they're, uh, they're big, uh, they're big engines, but they're, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're, they're big engines, but they're meant for light rail. So you could really get away with them. Yes. Um, Gainesville Midland had a Gainesville Midland too. Pods. Yeah. Probably. Both 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 of the Baldwin design and the um um the Russian design. Did they have Russian design? I thought they only they, had Baldwin. They had a couple design. they had a couple of Russians. Oh. Cool old railroad. I learned a lot about that last year. That one's growing on me. I built a train layout that hasn't seen the light of day on great train layouts, but um uh, just specifically for running those. Someday I'll play with that on the stream. On that stream. Um, yeah, their idea is it would be a short line to a copper mine. Ah, sort of like uh, Nevada Northern. Oh, very cool. That's, yeah, no. A, a deck would be right at home on it. Yep. Uh, as a Jack Six says, more wheels makes an engine lighter on her feet, as we found out in Britain when 060s got heavy enough to ruin our track. All of our 060s ruin our track over here, so I'm glad that's not oh, yes. a problem. Yes, it's just looks, a question of looks how over much. at you, Strasburg 31. Yep. Yes, the track stranger. Uh, nice passenger we have coming up. It's it's very cool. This is a. Uh, Oh god, watching it fly through there and lean is terrifying. Oh, god, jeez. That was some lean. Just a little bit. Darn thing was about to get seasickness. Yeah, good on the roll by markers there, 611. This is, see, this is what I like. This is a nice, efficient yard. We're watching everything kind of work as it should. It's all, it's all very well balanced out. Yep. Those guys are storming up to a red signal. 
All right, so the next thing we have coming in is the uh, the FTS Express, our four Jeeps, our Andrews transfer. All right, good roll by good mark. So we have that coming in. I think I think dispatch has been creeping that closer. Yes, that's a Hemingway. So we'll get we've got two trains out before we got one train in. And that'll that'll work for us. That gives, yes. that, gives room. that gives us some breathing room. So what I'm gonna do while we have breathing room, I'm gonna take this guy over to get some coal and water. While while we have a second to think about stuff. We've got our yard cleaned out, we're waiting on the next stuff to come in. So we're we're going to take the time while we have to service our engine. Sala 2163 writes, uh, multiple Frisco decapods worked as switchers at a lead smelter until the early 70s. Oh. I did not know that. Nor did I. The Frisco decks are cool. Getting the C1630 in person this uh this September was it's a, it's a very cool engine. Yeah, that's Louis a Russian, like Russian deck. That is. Which it doesn't have a blind driver. Did you know that? It doesn't. That's it doesn't. Crazy. It it is it is all flanged. Um, yeah. I've I've got a Russian deck up on my uh, my model train shelf, uh, painted up for Erie. Oh, the Bachman one, yeah. Uh, I did the paint. My I got painted and lettered and did it myself. Uh, I hear I hear dispatch has joined. Hey, uh, I should have used that more. Uh, the ADFF. That's that's just all the way all the way, right? Yeah, send it through, crush it into oh, it the bumper at the other end. Well, except, you know, water at Natahala, but other than that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Uh, the transfer just dinged into Hemingway, or was about to. Um, my good, obviously, the passenger train and BR3 are going to promptly fuck off. Am I good to then bring the transfer in? Yeah, bring her in. I got, a. Uh, I've got, the, there is nothing in the yard except waiting on that. Cool. Uh, BR3 so, uh, is about to depart, so I'm gonna pop back up here and see what other chaos I need to put out. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that, that's the trick, Acela. They do not get her around the trolley loop. Come on, click, click, click a switch stand. There we go. Just, just a little bit of a brown, of a brown uh, engine here. All right, so we're gonna use this chance to get water. That transfers four miles away, and there's two trains to get out ahead of it. So we're looking 15, 20 minutes before we see it, which, uh, which will be good. That'll, that'll be coming in, uh, unfortunately, right as we have to end our stream. But, um, we can, we, when it comes in, we can talk about strategy. Uh, and how uh, how we would deal with it, um, and then I think that's ow, I just fell off the tender. I think that's probably a good place to uh, to end everything. Is uh, you know back back to theory and strategy. Uh, one of the things I find helps me uh, brakeman work uh, in a yard is uh, scratch paper. I use a lot of scratch paper, um, and I just I, I jot down like what cars need to go where, and I, I plan out my moves on a piece of paper. Uh, write the car numbers on tracks of like this needs to go to here, 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 and as I oops overshot, I, th look at this, I'm overshooting the tower myself. Um, and as I do that, I'm I'm crossing off the moves that I make, and keeping track of like what's staying together where. So like if I gotta move something over a track for just one move, I'll be like I'll write in pencil like all right, uh, car six zero two four five one and write it on, on like the second column. Um, but then once I pick it, because like it was only there for a bit and it really needs to go to a different track, I'll, I'll cross it off once it's on the track it finally has to be on. And that's how I like work in the yard is, is working with some scratch paper. 
good to have a system that works for you. Then. It is. Hey, uh, so, uh, oh, Grant's no. a little late. Why? Uh, I've just come to the striking realization that it does not fit in Hemingway. Oh. So it's, uh, it is, it is backing up. Is so, it backing uh, up to a larger junction? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. A little bit. Alright, I'm cool. going back up here. Alright, have fun. So we can we can do some moves I was holding out on, because there were there were a couple of things I, I didn't want to do because I wasn't sure if we'd have time. Um, I want to take those log cars and stash them over, or those pulp wood flats and stash them away somewhere else. Those are uh, those are kind of in the way. So we can we can get those uh, tucked away elsewhere. So we can uh, we approach. can get that moving. We can get that moving next. Too. Thank you for joining us. I wonder why CNJ used so many 060s on the main then. I don't have a good answer for that. I know uh, very little about the CNJ. That's, uh, that's probably a good question for Jersey Stream. He's a he's a big CNJ person. Um, Which uh, Jersey is streaming the chaos point of view tonight? If you haven't hopped over to see his yet. Yes. Goofy Critter says, how would you recommend going about organizing the work or switching a yard? Um, depends on your yard. We, yeah, it depends on the yard. Um, if you go back earlier uh, in uh, in the stream or the VOD once it's uh, once it's up, because I don't think you can rewind on Twitch. Um, we break that down early on with a small train of like, all right, like we got to do these things. And we kind of chop up the train. Um, once this Andrews transfer gets in, We'll uh, we'll uh, we'll look at that again, um, and talk about a strategy of what cars I'd move to where and how I'd break that up and ready that train to go back out. Um, one of the big things is uh, you know, I've, I've seen some switching guides and stuff out there of like, grab all fifty of your cars that are spread out that do not fit on a single track, and it's like, no, don't don't do that. Start start with a track, switch out an entire track. Um, and break that track up and then move to your second track and break that up um, and once you get everything sorted by um, what train it needs to be on then you can go in and you can block each train nice and neat individually um, I like working from the perspective of what's first out to what's last out and breaking up all the first out stuff um, and work backwards to all the last out stuff so like that first train that came in it's like alright you know what BR three's first out. Let's get that broken up, um, and then it's coal one's gonna be next out after that. Then BR two after that. Then BR one after that, or maybe BR one then BR two. Um, and then it was you know BR one and BR two. We're just gonna combine because it's two small trains. We'll just run it as one. We'll save on the two crews. So we did that. Um, so it was we got together what should have been the first out train, which then ended up being last out because you know hustling. Um, we got together the coal train next, and then we got together the BR2 next, and we took the time to block BR2. So it's, it depends on your yard, depends on what you're trying to do, it, it, it depends, drink. Um, it's, it's everyone's favorite saying. It depends. It's, uh, it's all relative. It is really I know true. it's not, I know it's not a helpful answer in the slightest. Well, and some of what you do is just trying different operating schemes so uh, you don't specify if you're trying to come up with this for railroad or for a layout but um, if you're
doing it for Rare Raider, then you just play the game and see what works for you. If you're doing it for uh, a layout, then you plan out your yard, and then you play test that yard. Mm -hmm. And you see um, if it's functioning as you would like it to function. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's a lot of uh, trial and error. Whoa. Trial and error. Um, it, it it just comes down to what system works for you and um, where stuff fits. I mean, uh, I, I don't have assigned tracks. That, that's one of the things I do. I do not assign yard tracks to any job because I, I don't know. Like, it, the biggest train is going to go on the biggest track. This isn't, you know, the uh, on Sunday, this was the Alarca local track because uh, it was a 20-car train. Um, but this will probably be the, um, this will probably be a track for a different train tomorrow. I, like, I don't know. It, it depends. Um, if you have in a yard that has arrival tracks and departure tracks, that's also different. Um, so it's, it's all kind of, uh, it, it depends on what you need it to do for any given circumstance. And that's, that's kind of the only way to roll with it. Uh, we have we have an Armagon. Hello, Cole. I believe you're Cole Two now. Yes, uh, locomotive engineer six thirty two for Cole Two calling people. Um, <laughs> brain not working. Um, <laughs> I'm I finished switching out all the inbounds at Robinson Coal Gap. Well, no, all right. Robinson Gap Coal. Brain not working. Um, what do you want me to do now? Uh, if you can grab all the outbound and bring them all back to Bryson, that would okay, be much appreciated. Okay, we stuff for both Silva and Andrew's interchanges. Do you want me to uh, bring all of it? Yeah, drag it all back and uh, we'll sort it in the yard and send it out where it needs to go. Perfect, thank you. Um, I, I believe you're in quite a line to come into uh, come into Bryson. Okay, So uh, gotcha. just confirm with the dispatcher before you blow the switch at the bottom of the hill. All right, thank you. <laughs> you got it, thank you. All right, we got our coal, we got our water. We're uh, we're a freshly topped off choo choo. And let's go grab those pulpwood flats, and we'll ditch them in that side yard over there. Now that's one of the things I like to do is all my logging stuff, going up to Walker, I put over there in that side yard. Um, it just keeps it out of the way over here, and then the walker, um, the walker engines can just go over there, grab their own stuff, make up their own train, and get out of dodge, and never have to touch the actual yard. Um, I think it makes it speedier. Um, that's that's at least my way I like to work. Um, but you you know you do you. I think it's a I like to think it's a good use of that yard. Yeah, certainly. Different way of handling. Yeah, because otherwise it's wasted space. Oh, I'm sorry, you're unable to get back in. This is a yeah. You, you, it's you a also bummer. crashed. You also crashed out at the point where like we finished our work. <laughs> like we we did a good job. Well, at least we could take solace in that. Uh, and it is, it is, I, I gotta say, my favorite part about this game is getting to work with the crew, which we don't get to do too often anymore. But it is, uh, it is always enjoyable to hop on a crew and do a bunch of switching with you. Oh, likewise. It's always the most enjoyable of an experience. Uh, le train lady says they've been too scared to talk the wa touch the walker branch. Oh, the walker branch is nice. It is nice. It is, it is a nice little branch. It's very model railroady, which I think is why I love it so much. Um, very. It's good enough. But with, with the amount of pulp wood you need um, to run the railroad uh, where we do, um, you kind of you kind of need that branch to get you enough pulp wood. Um, and I like it for logging. It's 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 a nice it's nice to grab logs from up there. Uh, don't be afraid of walk, Walker. It's it's beautiful. Um, it it really is like Minerizant territory. 
if you're going up there with something, it's 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 the minor isn't. That's that that's really the best way to do it. Don't fear the walker. We can log like they do. Oh my god. That is pretty funny, that one. It's it's I right. may not have my pun game on, but I've got my my, my singing game on, my my Song reference game. That's what you you do have your song reference game on. Gotta have one of my games on since I don't. I literally don't have the the other game running. I'll take whatever <laughs> game I can get. Ugh. Um. All right. This. Uh, yes. Yeah, send a G twenty five up there. That's certainly one way to go about it. You know, I haven't I, on my uh, on my uh, the company save I was working on. I had a uh, I was using the G16, but with the uh, the correct attractive effort mod, uh, which makes it a G23. So it's you have two moguls that are roughly the same attractive effort. So it, it 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 makes it like a like an aesthetic choice of like do you, do you want slide valves or do you want piston valves? Uh, and I ended up using those for my logging trains, and I ha I, I enjoyed that. A good way to enjoy the branch. Oh, I love that hoot. I'm I'm not a hooter fan, but I am so glad that that the uh, the N and W one got included. Yeah, totally worth it. It is. Alright, so we're going to ditch Whoa. these over there. Oh, that's the dispatcher. Hello. Uh, so the take two of the transfer. Uh, it's about to run around a train in Hemingway. Uh, and then it is lined uh, in the number two track in the yard, so you just have to catch it. Alright, copy that. Catching and, it in the yard. And, and the uh, the train that's about to fly into number one is the uh, the ADFF. So. Alright, Um. so what you're saying is I shouldn't foul the other side... Um. To do a little bit of switching. You mean foul, foul the east uh, or yeah, west can end? I, uh, west end. Can I get a 241 past right over here? Yeah. I just I got I'm I'm flying some cars into um the storage tracks. Ah, oh, yeah, send it. Um, that's fine. The um no. the transfer is is about to ding Hemingway, so you've got. Okay, cool. I've, I've got a little bit of time. Yeah, and the ADFF has to hold anyways, so. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go back up here now. Uh, I might disappear for a couple minutes for a uh, union break, but uh, yeah, we'll see. That, that's you're not union. You're a dispatcher. Yeah. You're not in the brotherhood. I quit. Fuck yeah, it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna we'll be management out. on Sunday. Fuck this. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, Roadhog wants to know if railroads of this era had written rules or guidance for switchers on how to avoid string lining, or was it done by feel? I've, I haven't seen a rule um, in any of the, the standard code books I've read. Um, I, I don't know. If you out there know, please, please let me know. Let, let me know in the Discord, um, or in here in chat, or in the comments, or uh, whatever. Uh, there is the, the VRA Discord. Um, which, uh, if you go explanation mark uh, Discord in the chat, it should theoretically uh, pop up a link. Uh, if not, it's uh, it's in all the bios for uh, for the channel, so you can just follow the link to uh, get to the Discord that way. But if you know, let me know. I'm, I'm interested. That's a that's a really good question. Thank you. I uh, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, did I blow that? I blew that. It happens. Oh, that's gonna hit. Alright, I don't think I left myself enough room. Not quite. No. So... This flying switches, another big thing that'll help you out on your switching moves. You saw Nick and I doing a lot of kicks earlier. Um, 
And I got it. We work too much together as a crew because we're getting really good at kicking together. Mm-hmm. Um, not a bad thing. I like that. Um, but just goes to show you work with someone long enough, you can you can work really fast with them. For our expedience. Oh, come on. I'm lagging as I go to click the switch and missing it. Yeah, that... That is rough. We're gonna give this some more room. Hey, uh, Casey. Yeah. The BR3 East that is, it's got two decks on it. Yeah. You said that it needs to work. Uh, uh, Graham, Graham County. County, yes. Is it? I guess it pulls things from it, and nothing drops. It, it, it has a pull up there. Okay. All right. Good to know. I'm I'm about to send that thing out because uh, 731 just got in. So. Awesome. Yep. Uh, yeah. So uh, it it has pulls. Um, I don't know if there's switching power at the interchange anymore. I don't know if the Nadasha is still there. Um, but. The Nadasha. Any anyone uh, can place something down up there to do the switching move. Okay, yeah, I, uh, I will make Squeaky aware of that. Thank you. There we go. I just need to give myself some more room. Alright, that's line back green. We've got our fast freight stopped here. This is heading to the interchange uh, with uh, with bridge traffic. We've got we've got a car for the Colorado Railroad Museum, the the CNJ. We've we've got an East Broad Top car. Um, so we've, we've got a we've got a Mount Tamil Pius car. We've we've got an ES and DT car that's that's biblically accurate. It's at zero percent health. Oh, perfect. Oh look, out, there's a Valley car. Yeah. Crumbrace and Toltec. DNS. We we have a little bit of fun. So that's a that's a that's a three train that stopped now waiting on stuff. It's the fast freight that is anything but fast. All right, so we'll go duck in down. I guess we'll duck in down at the yard lead. Uh, we'll hide in down there. And we'll wait for this. They gotta be getting close. Good yeah, like two miles out. Two and a half miles out. Beautiful. Okay. Here, we'll, uh... I think that's a 30, 35, so it's a 37 car train minus 5, that's 32, 32 car yep. train coming in. So I think we're going to have to split that across two tracks. Probably. Um, so I'm going to move these over to the shortest tracks, that way I have the three longest tracks open. We probably should find a stopping point though for... Hey, Casey. For the sake of the stream. Yes, I, w I was hoping that thing was going to come in and we can talk about that before wrapping up. Uh, yes, dispatch. Uh, transfer is my mark for 66. Uh, the scoop will be hot on its heels, and then I will get the ADFF out of the yard. All right, sounds good. That's that's the so, current um, uh, 
scoop or scoot or whatever. I'm going with it. Okay, bye. So, also, the, uh, uh, the scoot, scoot. For the yes. scoot, it can probably do with one or two more cars. Are you still running people back and forth? I am completely full, and there are more people at every station on the line. <laughs> My I god. have a hundred, the problem that I've run. 180 passengers on my train right now. Oh my god. And Alarka Junction. I had to let people off at Alarka Junction to let people on, and I still didn't have enough room. Oh wow. Okay. That's, uh, that's busier than I was expecting it to be. So at least one more car, possibly two. This, oh. I know the engine can handle at least 300 tons on this route. Okay. I will, uh,. I guess we'll take care of that on the uh, on the next one, or in the interim. Yeah, um, wa wa idea. Yep, watch your hand throws coming in. Uh, we'll do that. All right. Uh, so I say, Nick, we uh, we wait for this uh for this uh, Andrew's transfer to come in, and uh, we can we can spin it down there. Cause it seems like that's uh eminently away. Oh, well, I, I hope all of you guys have enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, switching the yard and going over some theory about uh, how we all do this. And I'm just seeing Rudy re-railing cor cars in the upper corner. Um, so we'll uh, we'll get this stuff out of the way. We'll go duck in up the yard lead. I'm just going to take this guy until we're inside of Fallon. Uh, Bubby Craft, glad you are enjoying it. Welcome in. And uh, the, uh, the eight people you brought with you. Happy to have you guys in. Sad, sad you're joining towards our, uh, as we're getting ready to wrap up. Sadly, or, but we'd love to have you join us next time. Yes. Um, if uh, we, we will be streaming again next Friday night for AM&W Community Night. Uh, we open up the save to members of our community, uh, channel members, uh, the, the student train crew. Uh, and uh, I think we raffle off uh, five or six spots to the general, to uh, anyone who's not a channel member. It's just regular community members um it's, the mo it's unfortunately the most fair way of bringing people in but uh if you're in the discord again link in the bios um or at the bottom of the spot um join on in and when you see the announcement go out for it uh just click the button to join it and uh, maybe you'll win a chance to hang out we do those every month uh they're, they're yes. a lot of fun La last ones was a riot you could uh watch me attempt to dispatch the entire railroad and get everything clogged in one location um so it's a it, it is a good time i can recommend uh trying out for him and and watching the videos and i i can feel the diesels have arrived <laughs> I, I i just went from i watched my fps go from 30 to 13. yes so with that said it's been great having you along it is. Let's see. Here they are. All right, I'm flying out here with the two camera. I just want to see what these are gonna do coming in. All right, so yeah, yeah. There's a there's a good mix of stuff in here. Wow, this this is gonna be a fun train to break up uh, for the next crew. It's a uh, first shift's uh, trick is over. It's second shift's time. Um, so, yeah, what, I, what I'd do with this is I'd pull this, uh, the, these first cars off, the, uh, bracing cars and the Alarka cars. Um. That's mostly spelled correctly. I, I'd pull these cars off. Um, and get them set over. Uh, these cars I'd set over, because this is all go back on the DL2. 
I'd get that car set over with those. Uh, orange and red cars, the Bryson, Parsons, or the Dillsborough, Parsons, Silva stuff, I'd all put together. That's going to be a small train head back that way. Wow. Yeah. Um, and I'd get all the yellow cars grouped together. Um, and then from there, I'd go in and I'd break up for my BR2, my BR1. Um, so I, I'd, I'd work my DL2 first, um, all of my stuff between Dillsborough and Bryson. Um, and then I'd work my, um, and then I'd work my, uh, transfer stuff that's going to Dillsborough Yard for Dillsborough Silva Parsons. And then I'd work Alarco, then I'd work Bryson. And that's, that's how I'd break up this train. And I like thinking about it in colors, because the game gives us this really cool tool to think about it in colors. Um, and I, I like to group stuff together. Um, I think that's, that's the way I like to work. So I, I piece everything together. Um, and, uh, and work it from there. And uh, hopefully that's a helpful insight as to how uh, Nick and I like to deal with the, with the yard stuff and break everything up and get everything going. Yep. It's all a big moving puzzle. But you play around with it and you see what makes the greatest sense from that. Yeah. So uh, hopefully everyone out there enjoyed the uh what was this this was a yard switching what did i call you guys the yard job 208 uh hopefully you enjoyed the yard job 208 and uh we hope to see you on the next one uh as always i am professor casey and i'm professor nick and thank you so much for watching uh we will see you on the next one and that is the uh our uh, student train crew lab coming up next Friday um, raffled or um, subscribers are all invited uh, so uh, we'll see you then thanks so much have a good one everyone bye good night